I really like fruit biscuits. No kidding. But I want to talk about papaya pieces and cashew bits. Seriously, this 10% and 6% is very relevant to what we're going to do today. And it's not just food. Even medicines have some sort of concentration terms. Look at this. It says 1% W by W. That's the focus of this session. Concentration terms and different types of solutions. Okay, let's take this example right here of this tomato sauce that has 24.9% tomato paste and a lot of other stuff. Let's say the rest of it is just water. Let's write that here. Tomato paste 24.9%, rest of it is water. Now, what is percent? It just means that in 100 of something. So if I take 100 grams of solution, solution, what kind of solution? These are all homogeneous solutions. Okay, then I have 24.9 gram of the tomato paste and 100 minus 24.9 gram of the rest of it, in this case, water. I'm going to call the stuff in a smaller quantity as solute and the larger quantity is solvent. Okay, that's the only definition you need so far. And right now, I've got two liquids, so that's one type of solution. I could have a liquid in a solid, I could have a solid in a liquid, I could have a gas in a liquid, many different types of combinations and permutations. So, this solution contains the solute and the solvent. Okay, great. But what does this 24.9% actually mean? This is great if you have exactly 24.9 gram of the tomato paste in 100 gram of paste plus water. Huh, how is this useful? We'll see very, very quickly. Right now, both of these are liquids, right? But I've decided to weigh them separately. And by weighing them, I get something called the mass percentage. And that is the first concentration term we are going to study. It is represented by this W by W thingy right here. So mass percentage W by W is defined now as exactly what we just said, right? Mass of solute. These colors are all important, okay? <laughs> In grams divided by 100 gram of solution. Now you may be like, I don't always have 100 grams of solution. What if I have just say, I don't know, five grams of solute in 17 grams of solution. I should have a formula that tells me the mass percentage even with that calculation. Sure, why not? So let's take such an example where I have say 10 gram of sugar and that's dissolved in 25 gram of water. I've weighed them separately, I've mixed them. What is the mass percentage here? The simple thing to do is find out how much solute exists in one gram of the solution. Hmm, how do we do this? Well, I can do something like say 10 divided by 25 plus 10, right? Because this totally becomes then solution and this guy right here becomes solute. Okay, that gives me the mass in one gram. So what happens in 100 grams? Well, in 100 grams, all you've got to do now is multiply that division thing that we did and multiply it with 100 because this was in one gram, what you have over here, this whole thing, multiplied with 100 becomes 100 grams. That's it. It is literally as simple as that. And this definition, I feel, is the most standard definition for you to use. Technically speaking, you could also use what I just told you, but in most textbooks, you'll see this definition, right? The mass of solute in grams divided by the mass of solution in grams multiplied with 100. Now, I've just told you simply how this whole thing comes to be. Now, I've got this awesome mass percent thingy here. And where is this useful? And when I'm trying to make medicines, or if I'm trying to make a lot of sauce, and even fruit biscuits at a large scale. But you notice one thing here. I mentioned that both of these were liquids. So maybe we could have another concentration term. Yeah, something called volume percentage, where I'm mixing a known volume of the solute in a known volume of the solvent. And how would I represent that? Similar way, I would say, let's take the volume of the solute in ML divided by 100 ml of solution or simply put the volume of solute dissolved in 100 ml of solution okay will the formula change a little bit well it's just a numerator and denominator units that will change everything else remains the same let me talk about this right so if i have 15 percent v by v solution now hmm, the big difference here in terms of chemistry is that i would the way i would prepare the solution is i would take 15 ml of the solute and add water. It's a weird thing. Why add water? The total volume should be 100 ml. Exactly. I am not saying add 85 ml water to 15 ml. Technically, it's the same thing. But when you're actually making it, you have a conical flask, right? 
and you have like this sort of a reading over here and you have to make it up to the mark right you may have you may come across this when you do lab stuff yeah make it up to the mark so that is what we're going to do over here till the total volume becomes 100 ml this is the difference in doing things practically definition wise is the same volume of solute in ml divided by volume of solution in ml multiplied with 100 you see the only thing that's changing are the units we're talking about solute in ml solution in ml multiplying with still 100 awesome right so these were two concentration terms hmm okay is this it well let's mix things up things up right let's do mass by volume percentage w by v see in chemistry we use mass and weight interchangeably that's why there's a w if you're wondering what on earth is this w yeah this is just the weight i know i know in physics mass and weight are very different but in chemistry it kind of is okay which is why we write this as w so the definition here the mass of solute in grams divided by volume of solution in ml multiplied with 100 i could also say it is the mass of solute in 100 ml of solution where is this useful i feel personally that in a lab this is the most useful one usually you're dissolving solids in a liquid like say nacl or even in anything to do with pharmaceuticals so this was it this was a quick introduction to expressing concentrated solution and did three of those these things now what you've got to keep in mind a little bit of an extra information is that if you have volume in the mix anywhere the big thing that happens is that this changes with temperature keep that in mind a little bit of extra information yeah so sometimes if you have a setup where you don't want things to change with temperature then you would rather use a w by w term all right you can go ahead and practice some questions on these topics right away